Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video we have a few changes to Retribution Paladins, and we're also going to go over some trinkets that are just really good and really fun to use here before the season starts. Uh, so let's get started first talking about the Paladin changes. So there's a few ret changes, just a couple actually. So as the title suggests, our Mastery got a little bit of a nerf, and then all Holy Spell damage has been increased by 5%. So Mastery Judgment uh, reduced by 10%, our, our uh, high Lord's Judgment Mastery. Uh, for example, at level 80, 180 Mastery rating now grants 1.35% Mastery instead of 1.5%. So it's a minor nerf there, and then all Holy Spell damage increased by 5%, so that's obviously a buff. Uh, some people have already mapped this out. I will trust their math for now. Basically, it's like a slight buff, right, in, in, the, in the aggregate, in the immediate, I should say. Uh, however, this is going to reduce a bit of our scaling throughout the expansion, which people have been looking forward to. Now, it doesn't kill it. It just reduces it. Now, before we... I, I can see people getting mad about this because we finally got the mastery of scaling, right? We've talked about that on this channel a lot. Um, I will say this was bound to happen. Uh, just because, and, and we could see other things get buffed, you know, to make up for this in the future. But basically, they have the stance where they always want main stat to be better than any secondary stat. So currently, before this this change here, uh, Mastery was actually a little bit better than Strength. It wasn't a ton better, but it was a little bit better. Obviously, it wasn't a ton better. They just had to nerf it a little bit. Um, but it was a little bit better than Strength, and they don't want that. Now, there may still be specs in the game that have that, uh, but I do know that at one point they pruned this really hard. And a lot of specs who used secondaries over main stat, it might have been back in BFA, actually. I, I'm trying to remember when this was. Um, they they really cut back on that. So there might, there might still be a few specs that have this, but it's, it's a rare thing, and it's not something that they, they try to do. And so basically what, what was going to happen is especially as the expansion went on it would just be better to if there was an item that had a ridiculous amount of mastery on it but it was low eye level it would just be better to wear than the new eye level piece that had strength and no mastery on it right so like we're talking like 30 eye level difference right that, like that that was a possibility if it was like an insane item now that that would be a complete outlier but they don't want anything like that happening so it's it's not a huge deal the all holy damage increased by 5%. You know, it's again, it's a net buff, especially in the immediate. Um, and, you know, we could see other things. So I, I speculated that some of the nerfs that we got at the very end of Dragonflight were because of our mastery scaling. And I think that's when they should have did this nerf um, at the very end of Dragonflight there. Um, and and with, the, with the same reason being that mastery is too strong. It's stronger than strength. And they do a minor nerf to mastery then instead of that they nerfed like some of our individual spells like final verdict and stuff um so now we still have those nerfs uh they did increase holy damage but we still have some of those nerfs while having this mastery uh lowered down so maybe we could see some of those nerfs reverted or something like if we need to in the future but yeah th these are big changes it's, it's not much to get angry about it's not much to get excited about it's like a slight net buff especially in the immediate um but yeah it, it's it's nothing huge but it's something to monitor uh, obviously, we never want to see this go down. You know, if it if it's a little bit below strength, then that's fine. That's where it should be. But we still want it to be good enough to where we have a stat that matters. So we're not stacking verse again. That's basically all we want, right? That's what any spec really wants is to not stack verse. <laughs> it's, it's it's not a very sustainable play style, and it results in basically having to use trinkets and cantrips and everything else to do your damage because your class doesn't fundamentally work. So um, as long as mastery is still uh, a scalable stat essentially uh, then it's fine and so don't get too mad about it just kind of monitor it it's good to know it's good to have this information so now that we're done with like this uh, update changes there now let's get into maybe something a little bit more exciting and that is the cool trinkets to use here in the preseason now these are not going to be very suitable for the season because uh, many of these will not be or not many I'm only going to talk about three trinkets but some of these trinkets will not be used in the real season because they're not in the mythic plus rotation However, for now, they are really, really cool and really, really strong. So in my uh, preseason guide video, I didn't mention any specific trinkets because, I don't know, I just didn't think it'd be relevant. However, uh, after I've done everything that there is to do uh, in the game on my main character, uh, you know, min-maxing trinkets all suddenly became a lot more interesting. So let's talk about, the first, let's talk about Cinder Brew uh, Metery and a trinket in here that's really, really good. 
Um, this is not one that I'm planning on using, but it is really good. Does a lot of damage. It's a bit overtuned, I would say, and that's the uh, the honey buzzer or whatever. It, like sends the bee or whatever. Does a ton of damage. It's a it's an on use damage trinket, which is again really good for verse. If you had if you still had a ton of verse, this would be a good trinket to use, especially. But this thing's just a little bit overtuned. It does a ton of damage. Uh, this is for dungeons, right? Where there's no single target in what we're doing right now. Everything we're doing right now is dungeons, right? You're going to be doing normal dungeons. You're going to be taking these into M zeros on September 10th. Um, as you get started getting new trinkets and stuff. Uh, so yeah, for AOE, this is very very good. Uh, and that's what we're going to be talking about is AOE trinkets. I just want to make that clear because we're not doing any single target uh, for the most part unless you're hitting a target dummy. Um, so yeah, very, very good. Not what I'm going to be using, but it's just straight damage. Uh, you don't have to align it with your cooldowns necessarily. Uh, and it, it does a ton of damage. So that's a good one. And then the, the other two we're going to talk about are the two that I like to use. And I even like to use these in tandem. And uh, first we have Priory. And off the first boss, I believe, it's the uh, Signet of the Priory. So this is really, really good. Both of these trinkets that I'm going to mention, they basically increase your mastery. Uh, one of them is your highest secondary stat. Uh, so you just have to make sure mastery is your highest stat that you have secondaries on, uh, which you should be doing anyways, in theory. And so uh, they're, they're both just going to increase your mastery by a ton uh, on use. And uh, this one has a two minute cooldown. And the other one that we're going to look at has a one minute 30 cooldown. So you can actually kind of sync these in a way uh, like you want to use the one minute 30 cooldown first, actually get that one rolling, use the two minute cooldown one, and then you'll be able to use them a few times before they ever would sync up or whatever. And you could just kind of have one, not for every pole, but for like 50% of poles or so, uh, especially early on here in these heroics. And as you start M zeros before you get better trinkets, uh, these are going to be really, really cool to use. And they're extremely powerful. If, if a pole's big enough, for me personally, on de on details, I've seen myself go over 4 million, about 4.35 million on a pull, as far as the max my DPS, and then it would it, it fell down to like 2.17 or something by the end of the pull. But insane damage with these trinkets. You use them uh, on pull or on the pull, right? And then you just go to town, right? You have all this mastery for all your power. If you really wanted to min max it, you could use it towards the end of your crusade. I don't recommend doing that because some of the lower health mobs could die uh, before that happens, before you get your full sex crusade. But that is something you could do if mobs are living long enough, right? If mobs are living, um, you know, six globals, seven globals, all the mobs, uh, then you could, you could definitely do that. You could actually save and, and get even more damage. Uh, but it, it's, it's really not that good. If you're also playing Radiant Glory, right, your wings doesn't last long enough anyways, in my opinion, you should just pop it on the pole. Uh, and then the other one's going to be from the second boss in Stone Vault. And this is a shard here uh, from whatever this boss's name is. And this is going to do the same thing. It's just going to increase your mastery. And this one actually does do your mastery directly. It doesn't have to be your highest stat. And yeah, it does just a ton of mastery and it does a ton of damage. So these are two really, really good trinkets to use in dungeons right now. Um, that, that B one is really, really good to use too, but again, that's going to rely more on the, on use effect. And I could see that being nerfed. They, maybe they don't think it's important to nerf it right now because it doesn't matter. It's preseason or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I could see that potentially being nerfed even before September 10th or whatever, cause it is, it's very, very strong for AOE. Uh, but yeah, I, I like using those two. Like I said, the cooldowns kind of offset each other and it just kind of works out really, really nicely together. So. Uh, that's your ret news for the day. There hasn't been a ton of news to do. I've been playing this game so much. I, I can't believe I haven't really had any content to do because I've been playing this game so, so much. Um, I'm, I'm loving the war within. I might do, I think I'm going to do a video. I've been like debating not doing it about just how much I'm enjoying the expansion, but that's not for this video. That'll be in a future video. So we'll call it quits for there. As always, I do ask you to please subscribe to the channel. That helps me out so much. If you're already a subscriber, I encourage you to at least check out the Patreon. And other than that, everybody have a good one.